Alrighty, we're going to insert the 39 picofarad capacitors. I'm straightening out the leads at the moment because they were a little bent. And they are inserted. I'll do this so the camera can get hopefully get a good angle on it. Uh, they are inserted here. And here. Now, spacing is something to be a little desired on that. The uh, leads themselves have to be bent over on the back and they're going to be a little difficult. Okay, we're then going to put in um, this capacitor here. This is C23 and the positive is toward the center of the board so the longer wire here is positive. That is uh, what we're going to do. And then we're going to put in uh, the other capacitor, which is a 47 microfarad. And this one is done the other way. I don't know if you can catch that as a little plus toward the edge of the board, so that's the way it has to go. Uh, one face is one way, one face is the other way. Uh, make sure since polarity counts that they're not backwards. And then there is... Um, R68 and this combination with the output uh, capacitor uh, that goes in here you see these three holes there's one that's a rather large and then two smaller ones well the 680 ohm resistor which is attached to the capacitor goes in like this um, the 680 goes in towards closest to the large hole and the capacitor goes in in the other hole and this is uh, then bent over uh, for um, uh, for soldering purposes. We're going to clip the leads as usual. And then we're going to sit there and insert uh, Q15, which is going here and Q16 which is going in here. We're going to form the leads. This is Q15. And we're going to insert it. And then what we're going to do is bend the leads over so it can't escape. We're going to take Q16, likewise, and this is with the flat side facing the camera. Form the leads. There we go. And then insert into these three holes right here, next to that 47 microfarad capacitor. The flat side still faces the camera. All right, we bent the leads over. The aux section is pretty much complete. We're going to trim the leads. And then we're going to solder the entire section. And get a good view of that. We'll start with the resistors at the bottom. And this hole you want to leave open at the moment. So we'll just tack that closed. But this hole is going to remain open because the pin is going to be placed in it. Alrighty, we're going to show you the... Uh, Next step, which is putting in the pins, and uh, you'll notice where the exacto knife is pointing, the letters V, I, B are here, and we're going to just enlarge that hole slightly. A little trick you can do with an exacto knife, and uh, that hole right there gets uh, one of these little pins. It's included uh, with the, uh, the vibrato kit. 
and you want to get a firm grip on this because it doesn't always go in smooth. There we go. Alright, and then the trick is to leave it sticking out about an eighth of an inch and then just sort of the rest of it. And then there's two more. This one says AUX in and that's one of the pins. And you're going to slightly enlarge the hole so the pin will go in. And this one's marked AUX out. And they are the particular items that we just installed in the last segment. And this goes in. Uh, the best way is with a, a long nose and um, a little pressure. Don't apply too much pressure, you could crack the board. But basically, if it goes in with only a couple of pounds of pressure, you're all right. There we go. And we're going to solder that up. And believe it or not, there's a jumper you'll have to add. There we go. So all three pins are in. As you can see, they're right here. That's aux out. And that's aux in. And that one there is vibrato, right there. Well, the... Um, there's a short jumper that has to be installed and it is installed between the amplifier in and the aux in and the uh, jumper is only a couple of inches long I'm pre-tinning it and then I'm going to uh, solder it to the pin the two pins that are down here and I don't know if you can zoom in on that are the pins of interest they are the amplifier in, and uh, this is going to go to one of them. This is a permanent jumper, like that. And the second one is the aux in, which is this pin right here. And we're going to tax order that in as well. That way there, whatever comes out of the uh, volume control and, and hooks up into the... Uh, power amplifier also goes into the aux in and the aux out goes to uh, external recording devices or other PA systems. And the next item we're going to do uh, will be to uh, prepare the, uh, the board. Uh, now in this particular instance uh, you'll see that there's one marked out, one marked vibrato, and 150 volts, 15 volts, and ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to rehook up the 15 volts and 150. The, uh, the 150 volts is located right next to that capacitor where I've just placed the black wire. Don't get the black wire and white wire mixed up. You could damage the preamp. The uh, 15 volt lead is right there next to the IC, next to pin 14 of the IC. The uh, one marked out is the white. That goes here on pin 3. And this particular one is the ground, uh, and that goes on pin 4. And now we have a few other items to take care of. Um, this is the vibrato pot. Again, it is uh, new old stock, so uh, you'll find there's a little bit of oxidation on the pins. You want to scrape off the oxidation, or you may have difficulty in soldering it. And um, that has to be done, unfortunately, on both sides, uh, because the solder won't fall unless you do. 